they go late. So we'll see. Got to get someone on commentary who's rooting for ZD because <laughs> I am going to be unapologetically biased. Starting on Smashville. Not too surprising. I mean, Joe isn't a huge fan, but there's, again, a lot of stages he likes fighting uh, Fox on. Great anti-air up smash. Already got 50%. Well, nearly 50%. Ooh, up tilt up air. <laughs> I think ZD might have actually been looking for an air dodge read up B. Up tilt there. Game Watch's get up attack is, uh, that's a stock. I'm shocked ZD uh, held shield there. But uh, as I said in the previous Fox set, the 2 2 window is pretty big. Unfortunately for Joe, Game Watch is extremely light. Third lightest character in the game. Big conversion, but far away from kill percent. I think he's just got to find a grab here. Not going to find a lot of opportunities otherwise. At, at mid percents, he could find an edge guard maybe, but right now he's got to be extra careful not to give ZD any more free percent. Wonderful ledge trapping. Slightly off, but he's having all the right ideas when it comes to uh, trapping uh, Game Watch. A reverse chef. Not entirely sure that's what he wanted. Got to be really careful here. So many moves could lead to an unfortunate early death from up smash. I mean, okay, 120. Not really an early death anymore. Right side. He's about 10% away from a guaranteed 2-2 kill. Yeah, yeah, he... <laughs> Fortunately, ZD knew better. Like I said, these two have played a lot of sets, and often do they go late. Uh, this game is particularly even. There's the grab, and that's the stock. Yep. Joe does not miss those 2 -twos. Not on Fox, especially. But a uh, very close game. Very close game. Probably going to see a couple more of those. <laughs> if uh, ZD can just keep his ledge trapping optimized, I don't know how Joe will do in the second game, especially with ZD's counter pick, FD. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. A nice chef into, nah, unfortunately did not find the fair. It's a small hitbox, uh, despite the size of the uh, Game & Watch's forward aerial. The ZD's going to have a much better time just keeping Joe in the air on the stage, not, you know, the spare platform. Game & Watch's... Finding a few opportunities here, and he's close to 2-2%. ZD's got to be careful, but it goes both ways. I, I want to say 77. A grab here will do it. All right, what is up, everyone? Sorry, you just look so lonely over here. <laughs> I know how this whole life goes, though. Sorry, right, I, li I like talking to myself, for <laughs> fortunately. In front of a couple hundred people? I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. All right, so here we go. So how's this match been going so far? Karma, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so Dingus Joe got uh, two clean 2 toots game one. ZD's ledge trapping has been great, as usual. Um, the second game, though, has been uh, quite a bit more in uh, ZD's favor, as he's just keeping Joe in disadvantage. Yeah, ZD's one of those players that I've talked to him about, like, most of the matchups he goes up in. And he's, like, against Dingus Joe, he says he only really loses when he gets lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Azidi who received his wake-up call, and he is on the way down there for breakfast. And right now, the first course is looking like Game Watch.
Game two, going to ZD. All right. I think Joe might be relying on the uh, great equalizer if ZD's on his game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know he's looking for it, too. It just takes one of those, especially at this point. Once you get him to a game three, you only need to... Hit a nine once. That's one stock. That's half the work. <laughs> that's half the work done. Exactly. And with Fox's larger than average two toot range, you might be able to find uh, the other stock relatively easily. Yep. So let's see how this pans out. So far, so good for Dingus Joe. That's a jump. He has to be here. Oh, and he misses the uh, back air. That would have been big. Surprised he didn't die to the uh, the upbeat, but. Yeah, that had to have been a couple pixels. If Fox was a couple percents higher. That could have been it, but instead ZD has a chance to bring it back. Invisible footstool, nice. ZD was mashing the jump button. Nearing 2 2. No. Never mind, you don't need a 2 2 percent <laughs> if you can call out the falling aerial. Wow, and ZD, he threw out an aerial, a neutral air, and that's what got him killed. If he, <laughs> done, if he had done nothing. He would have just landed safely, but instead, Dingus Joe has so much percent to rack up. 60, 66. And off of a single nair, he turned into all that. Yeah. And just like that, he's dead to a nine. <laughs> the I'm universe wants.